first my rhubarb that I grew from seed is in desperate need of replanting she's doing good she likes it you see all those roots it's time to grow on people time to grow on their first year so I am in Southern California we are not known for rhubarb but I grow rhubarb and have done so successfully in a pot. Um, so I'm just going to plop this mixture here into my pot. That's what I'm doing, guys. And once she's full, I will I learned this cute trick that I like so well. And so I'm gonna do it. I got my soil in there. Now I'm just gonna toss some soil all around in a circle. Just get all messy and in the dirt with it. Like a tomboy for sure. This is not the girl that you invite to the prom. This is that girl. <laughs> this is that girl that you wish you had invited to the prom. <laughs> yeah, that would be me. Okay, so pack that in there nice and tight so that it leaves an impression. You're gonna see what this does here. I loved it when I saw it on somebody's video. Look at that! That's so that beautiful. Okay, now we're gonna repot. So I pulled her out of there, shoving her in there like that. You see how quick and easy that is? Come on, people. Don't you wish everything in life worked out like it was in the YouTube video? <laughs> you know how many YouTube videos have you seen? And you were like, oh yeah. I get it. I'm going to do that. And then you go to do it and it's like, oh, never mind. They ain't telling everything. But I am. It worked out just like in that other YouTuber's video. And I'm so excited. And I think he saw it in somebody's YouTube video. So this is just one of those things that you need to learn from YouTube. You know, the only way. I'm going to have rhubarb that I can afford in Southern California. It's to grow it myself. Do you know that rhubarb costs like $30 a pound in Southern California? Yeah, because they import it. Nobody grows it locally, except for me. <laughs> and um, you see what quantity I'm growing. <laughs> yeah, it ain't enough for, you know, everybody up in this house. It's just us. Bo. and no mo. Mm -hmm. That's all. That's it. That's it. We got to keep it simple. Um, rhubarb's not a picky plant. It's never going to go dormant in my area. <laughs> I was shocked when I found that out. It, it's like, you call this winter? This ain't winter. <laughs> okay. What is this? This is the tropics, but I'm not in the tropics, but by rhubarb standards, I am. So, you know, it is what it is. Look at her, she getting some, she getting some, some red color in the summertime. You go ahead, girl. And this is um, another thing that they tell you not to do. This is wormwood. And they say, don't plant wormwood with anything because it stops stuff from growing. Wormwood ain't never stopped a thing from growing in my area. Okay, not, not, not here. Maybe it does that in colder places, but here in Southern California, you put some wormwood or some tansy in your pot to keep the um, bugs out. Otherwise, you ain't got a chance because them bugs are coming there eating everything. I like for them to come in there, take a bite of that wormwood, and leave the place. 
So that's it for this. I'm gonna water it in. We'll check back in when she gets a little bigger, but I'm really, really happy with this rhubarb from seed. Doing great. Obviously, I haven't eaten any rhubarb yet, but it's getting red. Okay, so my pot of um, rhubarb is doing good. I see a bird tried to perch on it, so they'll just have to get stronger, or I'll have to put some perches in here because the birds want to use this too. And all three plants survive. One, two, three. And of course, the wormwood survived. You know, they say don't plant wormwood with other seeds. And the zatar um, is doing fine. I'm going to put some flowers in this pot. You know, so it looks a little cuter. Although, to me, rhubarb is a beautiful. I thought I'd re update you on this. This is my rhubarb, it's Glasgow's Professional. The army um, worms were trying to see if it really wanted to live. But um, look at how dark the leaf is. It's not red. <laughs> it is a very dark blood red. So I just wanted to let you know about it. If you're interested in glass coats, I'll show you my other one. Again, the army worm ate this one to the ground. But because I weighed it, because I know how they are, it's coming back Here's fine. the other one. You can see they're all red. This one, the color look reminds me of Victoria. I repotted it in its own pot because I was noticing they were getting pretty big. And we'll, and the armor worms haven't ate this one, but I think I overwatered it because it's got a little waterlogged there. But um, we'll see what so happens. Let's just scoop up some soil. This is poo. And um, this is a mend. There we go. <laughs> and here is my one asparagus plant. So we're just gonna pot, ah, might be two. Yeah, it's two asparagus plants. Okay, I'm gonna pot that bad boy up. I've shown this before, but it's been a long time. You have to go underneath and my world is plagued with spiders. Looks like I missed something there. Something that got ate and pinch it oh. out. Once you pinch it, the old girl lifts up. Oh my goodness. Well, one of the girls lifts up. up. So I got one. I'm gonna put them each in their own individual container. <laughs> so, last thing you gotta do is water that girl out. That's it. From my old seed, I actually was blessed to get a couple of um, purple Romanian artichokes. So I'm gonna pot this bad boy up. They have really, really long root systems. So I'll be right back after I pinch okay. this As out. you can see, the root system was already longer than the plant. And there's somebody growing on the side of it. We're not gonna worry about that. And I'm just gonna put a hole in here and put that root system in there. These don't go in the shock. I'm gonna put some dirt on there to build it Okay, up. I had already shown you me uh, potting up an asparagus, so I wasn't gonna show you this one, but look at the root system on that asparagus. Yeah, so I'm gonna repot this one. I tried putting two in a pot and one of them died, so I don't think they're friendly. I'm just going to put one in. Here's my pot. Let me just move the soil a bit. Um, and place that plant in there. It didn't even act like it knows it's moved. And now I'm gonna water it in. Alrighty. So we'll just water that bad boy in there. As you can see, it has a pretty extensive root. The roots on the um, artichokes were not doing as much as the roots on this. But um, 
they need to be recorded because they are long -winded. Hey everybody, hang in there. We still going with this thing. You can get it in. Yes, Jesus loves you. And I love you with all the Jesus in me. Be blessed, beautiful.